Alright, so let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with Pixel or Omatic, the easiest one, and we'll just see what that level of uh, software offers. So, all you need to do is click on Pixel or Omatic, and it brings you just to another web page. And what they're going to do is they're going to say, do you want to select something from a webcam so you can shoot something of yourself, or do you want to add an image from your computer? I'm going to bring in one from my computer. Okay, so once we brought in a photo, it has sort of this uh, <laughs> photo bath uh, effect that goes over the top. This really doesn't affect any of our picture or anything like that. It's just kind of a neat effect as if you were in a dark room. So what we have here is my picture that I've taken. And down here along the bottom is sort of where we have a lot of the options for this. Now, to change to the different options, you use this little uh, user interface device right here. The red is going to give you a bunch of just different little overlays over the top. And I like how they named them so you could remember, oh, I really like the Karen overlay, and you wouldn't have to remember that it was the old-timey 30% sepia overlay. It makes it a little nicer to remember. So what you can do is you can just add these here, and then if we click over and we change to the blue area, this is where it's going to give us some actual imaging to go over the top of our uh, photo here. So if we wanted to add this foggy image or something like that, we can do, we can do that. Basically you have to add these at 100% level though, so some of them might be a little harsh for what we're doing. Okay, the final one is the yellow down here to the right. And what this does is this allows us to do some borders to our image. So you can scroll through these and you can find uh, all these different borders. What's nice too, the other couple that are down here, um, one is a crop. Basically the only crop that it will let you do is a square one-to-one -one crop. So again, it's sort of a throwback to Instagram for sure. Uh, this, next, this next right one lets you skip forward in the selection up here, it lets you skip an entire area, and these right and left will let you move around in here. Now, once I'm done, I can either hit save, or I can skip forward to the right, and it'll ask me, okay, I like this, how it looks like it's uh, held up in a dark room. And what it'll say is select where you would like to save this. Do you want to save this straight to your computer? And all I would do there is give it a name. I'm going to call it Trent on the slide. It'll save it and just let me, let me save it straight to my computer. It also gives me the option of saving it to uh, one of their file sharing services that's offered at Pixlr. It's called Imeo. And if you've ever heard of Imgur, uh, that's a popular one online. Basically, this is a place for you to uh, upload pictures and get a URL that you can then share online. Uh, I would suggest probably saving it to your computer first so that you have a copy, but if you wanted to just upload this real quick, get a URL so that you can paste it around online, that would be a good place to do that. If you hit that little refresh button, it brings you straight back to the straight back to the front and actually it knows where I saved that so I could click that and start again on that exact picture. Okay, so pretty simple, right? Add a few filters, crop it a little bit, maybe a one-to-one -one crop, add a border. That's really all you're going to get with Pixel Aromatic. So let's try something that's a little bit more complicated. If I just hit back, it's going to bring me back to this main homepage. And let's look at Pixlr Express. 